she tried to leave. It only made things worse. Amber, who is an undocumented immigrant, relocates from Mexico to Cleveland, Ohio, following her mother's death. She sustains herself through an off-the-books job and her savings. Looking for a place to stay, she comes across a rundown boarding house managed by Red, who requests payment for the first month's rent in advance. Following her move in, strange events begin to unfold both within and outside the boarding house. One evening, she sees a man repeatedly banging his head against a door, which turns out to be Red's brother, Becker, who suffers from mental health issues. Certain rooms in the house contain unusual artifacts, including depictions of ritualistic acts. Amber starts seeing ghostly visions on the property. She also briefly meets other immigrant women who are staying there, including Freja, Petra, and Maria. In Red's absence, Amber takes the opportunity to explore the forbidden study area, restricted to borders. There, she uncovers a collection of artifacts, tapes, and files collected in Mexico by Red and Becker's parents, Professor Arthur Wells and his wife, Mary. These resources go into great detail about Mesoamerican rituals, including those that involve human sacrifices, and prominently feature the stone box that Amber sees in her dreams. Looking for better job opportunities, Amber entrusts a co-worker with her remaining savings to get a forged ID declaring her as a U.S. citizen. However, the co-worker disappears with the money, leaving Amber in the lurch. After asking her boss about the co-worker's whereabouts, she gets fired from her job. When Amber returns home, he hears screams coming from the shower drain and sees Freja briefly. Concerned, Amber asks about Freja's whereabouts, only to be informed by Red that she had left several days earlier. Amber's room becomes the epicenter of unexplainable paranormal activity, with unseen entities making desperate requests for help. Amber, terrified, reaches out to Beto, an unfamiliar family friend, seeking refuge, but her request is denied. With no resources left and unable to find Red, Amber chooses to leave the unsettling house. Amber calls Red on the phone and requests a meeting at a diner to retrieve her security deposit. When Red arrives, he claims that he does not have the cash on hand. Red persuades Ambar to accompany him back to the house, promising to return her money. Returning to her room, Red tells Ambar about his disturbing family history, describing his father as mentally unstable, collecting strange items, and eventually killing Red's mother. Red expresses his desire to help Amber, but insists that his brother Becker needs her presence. Becker enters the room and begins making ritualistic gestures, applying a substance to Ambar's face and forcing her to drink liquid. The brothers then confine Ambar to her room, warning her that any attempt to escape would result in more severe consequences. A while later, the two Romanian women who have taken up residence in the boarding house knock on Amber's door. They talk about their dreams involving a stone box. Petra starts to sing, sending Amber to sleep. Amber wakes up to find Red and Becker restraining the women. She attacks Red, but Becker fights back. Meanwhile, Beto arrives in search of Amber and is attacked by Becker. As Becker escorts one of the women downstairs, Red tells Amber that his father, an archaeologist brought back a stone box from a trip to Mexico in 1963. Red admits that his parents, including his mother Mary, were involved in trapping and murdering women. After Red and Becker killed their father for sacrificing their mother, Red wanted to leave. But Becker insisted on staying because each woman's sacrifice to the stone box supposedly improved Becker's health. Becker returns and takes Amber to the basement where she sees that the other woman has been decapitated. He then binds Amber to a stone slab in front of an altar, which holds the box. After opening the box, Becker leaves the room, leaving Amber in distress. She continues to cry, and Beto rushes into the room, freeing her from her restraints. While trying to escape from the basement, Amber gets caught up in a vision of her mother on her deathbed. Simultaneously, a large moth-like creature emerges from the box and takes Amber's head in its grasp. 
Within the dream, Amber's mother begs her to stay, and she starts to choke her. However, Amber fights her and suffocates her mother instead. This action causes the monster, the Aztec goddess Dis Pltl, associated with the moth, to retract back into the box. Amber wakes up from her dream to find herself standing alone by the altar. Amber overhears Becker and Red preparing Petra for the sacrifice. Becker notices that his wounds are not healing, indicating that something is wrong. Amber gets some aquahuil from the study and confronts Red upstairs. However, Becker then attacks her. Despite Petra's attempts to intervene, she is thrown off the balcony and killed. As Becker begins to strangle Amber, she manages to slice his carotid artery with an obsidian blade, eventually crushing his head with it. She then hears Red, wounded but alive, moving around in the next room. Amber brings him downstairs, secures him to the stone table, and watches the monster devour his head. As Amber wanders through the house, she comes across Red, who has transformed into a ghost. Just as she is about to leave the place, her previously injured ankle, which Becker broke, miraculously heals as a result of sacrificing Red to the monster. She pauses and extends her hand to allow a moth to land on it before turning to the basement door, revealing the same ominous pulsating veins that Becker once had. Thanks for watching. To catch all the latest from us, subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified as soon as a new video drops. We'll see you in the next one.